faction, the Austro-Hungarian Army, the First World War. Austria and Hungary both had their own standing armies. In 1914, Austria had 40,000 soldiers, and Hungary, 30,000. The Imperial and Royal Army made up a further 350,000 men and gave their allegiance direct to Emperor Franz Joseph. Recruits for these three armies was achieved by conscription. While the army was officially under the control of the Emperor Franz Joseph, by 1914, the Chief of Staff, Count Franz Conrad, was firmly in control. He favored aggressive foreign policy and military force to solve Austro-Hungary's territorial disputes with Italy and Serbia. When the First World War began, Austro-Hungary could mobilize 2.25 million men. It sought to expand the size of the army by recruiting all across the empire in 15 different languages. The diversity of the army could sometimes be a problem, as 80% of all officers were German speakers. Germans and Hungarians were the two largest ethnic groups in the army, while Czechs, Poles, Ukrainians, Croats, and Serbs, Romanians, Slovaks, Slovenes, and Italians all made up the rest of the soldiers in the military. Army morale was often low, and nationalist sentiments increased as the war went on, such as the mass surrender by a Czech unit to Russia in April 1915. When Franz Joseph died on 21st November 1916, he was succeeded by his great-nephew Karl I. He sacked Count Franz Conrad in 1917, replacing him with Ars von Strassenberg. However, the morale of the army was still at an all-time low, and nationalistic unrest continued. The army began to disintegrate. On the 3rd of November, 1918, Kaiser Karl I signed a peace settlement with the Allies and then abdicated. It is estimated that 1.54 million men in the Austro-Hungarian army were killed during the war. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more history videos. You can also get Simple History World War I out today.